Today I'm going to demonstrate using a spoke shave. Um, I'm going to be making this post octagonal. Usually I'd use a, a draw knife for this, but I think it's good practice for using a spoke shave. This is a, a Stanley 54 um, with an adjustable mouth it's set with a pretty large opening. Now, the nice thing about spoke shaves as opposed to draw knives is they can be used by pushing or by pulling. Now, the first thing I want to talk about real quick is the grip. It's nice with the 54s, they have these little areas here. You really, when you're holding a spoke shave, you want to use your thumb and your fingers to guide the shaves. So you're going to be pushing down with your thumb and kind of pulling with your fingers, just your, your pointer fingers. These fingers are just for balance and keeping things straight. When you're pushing, you're going to be doing the opposite. You're going to be keeping the front down with your fingers, pushing with your thumbs back here, and using your fingers for balance. So, Now, this is a wooden spoke shave um, that's very similar. The blade is at a much lower angle than a metal spoke shave. You can see this one is flat, this one is angled. Um, so it's much more like a draw knife. Similar grip though, you, you know, push, you know, holding it with the, the forefinger and the thumb. And using the other fingers for balance. If you start to get chatter, that's a good sign that you need to switch directions. Oh, I got some tear out here, so. And again, this, this spoke shave is set very thick, so it's taking a very big shaving. I might want to come in here now with a spoke shave that's got a, a thinner setting. And clean it up. Another thing you can do if you're getting a lot of chatter is to skew the blade. Instead of addressing it straight on, you can go at an angle. Cool. Got a lot of a lot of tear out there, so switch it around. A lot of chatter there so this is this is set really thick so I'll go back with a spoke shave that's set a little thinner and clean it up
The other thing you can do when you have an area that's got some wild grain is you can kind of pull up a little bit, just a little bit, so you're getting, I'm making a maneuver like this, so you're getting a little less pressure in those areas. All right.